Hi. So, now you guys understand what it's like to be ghosted for a whole month. Even though Kazuya was ghosted for three, but now you understand. So if you guys didn't know, I'm in the middle of a move. That's why like my background looks different and all this stuff looks different. This is why I didn't have time. I was working on like another kind of video for you guys, but I, then I found out I was moving. Like, just as quickly as I started working on the video. So I kind of just didn't have time. So I said, you know what? Like I'm going to do something I know I'm good at. That I can do really, really quickly. So I spent like a week or so just editing that video that I put out yesterday, the reaction video for chapter 234 and 235. If you guys are interested, please go check that out. I actually try to voice act, try. And then I also, uh, you know, hyper edit the shit out of the video. Without further ado, let's get into chapter 236 of Rent a Girlfriend. I'm excited for what's coming. I'm gonna see if I can maybe give you guys my first impressions as well. And let's go see. With full body and soul, she's breaking in head on. She's the A in the ABCs of realizing love. Chapter 236, The Girlfriend and the Kiss, part five. Miyajima Reiji. I love Minnie. I love Minnie. We all love Minnie. I should zoom in. Cause I don't want to get the entire page spoiled for me too quickly, you know? Oh yeah, they announced a, um, they announced a live action of Rent a Girlfriend. And apparently it's gonna be a little bit different. Some some fans are worried, some fans aren't worried. Reiji's whole idea behind it is that he first got into a lot of animes through live action, so while it might not be perfect, he believes it's a good way for people to get introduced to the series and, get, and to get to know it better, but also it'll be portrayed a little bit differently. Kazuya actually looks perfect. Like, this isn't what Kazuya actually looks like in the anime, but he looks pretty good, and then Chizuru uh, looks good too. So I, I'm interested. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it, or if I'll get to, if I'll have the chance, but it looks interesting. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. So these are unclean scans. A living hell with no end in sight. Is there, in, is there any way out? February 19th, the passion of Valentine's has yet to fade away. I haven't been able to reach Mizuhara for almost three months. Okay, so it's Kazuya. He seems calmer. He seems calmer. I wonder, has she barked me already? Ah, she looks really cute. And look at Kazuya. Ah, sometimes these feelings can make me feel unsteady, but at the end of the day, you're my rock. Ah, I'm like an idiot staring at the chat all the fucking time. Why didn't I think of it before? Actually, if someone blocks you online, you can figure out by sending them a sticker pack. A secret line trick which condemns you to hell. Send a sticker as a present to your chat partner. It's best to avoid getting into a situation where you need to use the trick in the first place. Oh no! <laughs> Go to hell! <laughs> Even the creator of this method wasn't able to send it immediately to the person they tried it on. Yeah, oh no, Sumi! Sumi made an appearance! Her manga's going on hiatus and she just made a fucking appearance! You know she's coming soon! <laughs> If it says, cannot send present, it means either you're blocked, or they already have this sticker. Welcome to hell. Try this with a sticker that your partner definitely won't have. But there's no coming back from that if it's confirmed you're blocked. I want to know. I, w I don't want to know, but I want to know. That would mean my existence would be something she really wants to forget. Oh, he's getting nightmares again. He's getting nightmares again. Perhaps there's another guy already. Are you chatting with another guy online? My head is only full of you. Oh god. Hell. Poor guy. Gah, I'm opening the doors of the depths of hell again! Blood. Is my brain its own being or something? This is self-harm! How many times should I hurt myself before I'm done? Self-awareness! Progress! Do you wish to send... <gasps> Finally. I'm at the final confirmation screen. So I'm not blocked. Oh, what a relief. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm being ignored. What the hell am I even doing? How nice it would be if she says that she stopped using her smartphone these three months to cut down her dependence. That won't answer her pretending not to be home though. Future me here. He sent her man on fire stickers. Like, like his eyes are on fire, he's hype as fuck. He's like, he's like, yeah, I want to do this. It's right after Minnie talks to her. Interesting timing, Kazuya. <laughs> But I bet she would like 
see that after or some shit, you'd be like, oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, I accidentally tapped. Oh, I sent her the stickers. I'm now a man who sent her some weird stickers after being ignored for three straight months. Go back, go back. <sighs> Guess I'll die now. Huh? Yes? Ah, it's you. What is it? Huh? A fighting bull. Huh? Ruka-chan? That's what I heard. Because she's the one who pushed you two into it. She thinks it's unfair to you, too. She wants to take responsibility for dragging everyone to the situation. Mizuhara. So that's what... So she doesn't hate me! No shit. But I haven't received a clear answer from her. Although if she understands your feelings, she'll give you an answer somehow or the other. That's what I feel that Mizuhara-san will do. On top of that, she thinks there isn't a word for what she felt behind that kiss. That's what she was saying. A confession went through? She did it on top of that? I don't think someone would kiss someone they don't like, but I'm pretty basic. Personally, at least, there's nothing I can do if the girl in question doesn't understand it herself. I've done everything I can, though. Huh? Master? Uh, <laughs> thank God she doesn't hate me. <laughs> Uh poor guy. That's sad. like, like, let's be real, it's like everyone's gonna shit on Kazuya for feeling this way, but come on, like, it's, it's like the love of his life, so it's like everyone can be upset and bothered and say shit, and, and he, he should care about himself more, sure, yeah, but at the same time, like, just finding out the person you love doesn't hate you and generally cares about you, and while they did this, it's just a good feeling to know that, like, you're not hated, and there's there's a, a deeper layer to this with Kazuya's character that I think many people miss, and it's the fact that Kazuya doesn't understand how to be loved. Kazuya doesn't, like, he's afraid of loss, he's afraid of all these things, all the things that people, like, put onto Shizuru's character, Kazuya's afraid of those very same things, and it's just not quite easy to understand. In fact, I think for that very reason, chapter 211, you know the chapter in Paradise where Kazuya really hypes himself up? It's by far one of the saddest chapters because the only thing keeping Kazuya going is the possibility that someone loves him back. That's the only thing that was keeping Kazuya going amidst that. His depression was literally like a misstep away. So when you're seeing Kazuya in that chapter, when he picks up the phone and he looks at it, that's a literal representation of Kazuya trying to fight back against his depression. And that's what makes the seed super, super sad because he becomes extremely tunnel visioned and he doesn't like fully see how in that process he was actually ignoring Chizuru's feelings just as Chizuru accidentally hurts his feelings by trying to give him a choice without realizing. It's it's a two-way thing. That's the unfortunate truth of the situation. It's a two-way thing and I think most readers don't realize that because we're seeing the story from a specific perspective on purpose because this is written like a mystery. A great deal of chapters are shown like a misdirect where we're not getting the full information. Jeez, this guy. Huh? Thank you, yomori son. Uh, yeah. Huh? I'm gonna go and try asking her. Huh? All this time, since that day, I thought she rejected me. I thought it was just a nuisance for her, and that the kiss meant nothing. And these three months, I thought she hated me. But that's not true. That alone isn't why I'm happy. No matter what changes now, things can't get any worse. If my confession went through, then I want to hear her answer. I'll try and find out how Mizuhara feels, all on my own. Look at this man! <laughs> Up on his feet! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, uh, look at the determination in their eyes. That's right! That's the spirit! Yeah! I'll be rooting for you with everything I've got! Now you're looking more like a lead man! Thank you! Best of luck with the cosplay, too! Oh, <laughs> they're vibing! Oh. So, how do I ask her? What should I do? Should I try apologizing for sending her some weird stickers? Or should I try giving her intercom again? If I call out to her and knock on the door, there's no way she's gonna ignore me. It is true, though, that she avoided me because she feels like she can't face Ruka-chun. Like, her morals and mine are kinda different on that point. So if I bring that up all of a sudden, she'll look at me like I'm some kind of player? Hmm... Huh? It's her! Uh, Mizuhara accepted! Oh, your date with Chizuru Mizuhara has been confirmed. He- This is a date he sent prior! That's so clever! That's really clever! This is a date he sent prior, 
and she accepted it. Chizzer's taking action. Chizzer's taking action. Let's go. So she didn't hate me after all. Something's changed inside her. So a rental, huh? I guess it's easier for her to talk that way too. I see. I guess so. Since this is how it all began. As a rental. Mizuhara! Mizuhara! March 1st, Harajuku. At first you had my curiosity, but now you have my erection. You mean your attention? You all know what I'm about. He cut his hair! He's back to normal. Look at him with that clean haircut. <laughs> this is the first time seeing each other in three months. Will I be able to put a sentence together? Ah, this is awkward! Uh, I'm nervous as fuck! But she doesn't hate me. I should feel confident in yomori sons words. Besides, I'm prepared. Huh? This is quite unusual. Zora usually arrives a bit ahead of time. She's getting it close. Check her out. You're the, you're the only one who isn't checking her out. Hasn't she been here for 10 minutes already? Checked out twice, then on thrice, all in just 10 minutes. You were counting? Is she waiting for someone? She looks restless. She's clearly on a date with her boyfriend. Seriously, what kind of in over his head boyfriend makes someone like her wait? Ha, <laughs> seems like some people in the world really have it made. It's adorable. I love it. That pounding of the heart is the sound of resolve. The date of fate kicks off. Next chapter. Next time. Afternoon tea. Yo, they look both they look they both look so determined. Oh, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of my stupid children. <laughs> they both look so determined. I wonder if Chizuru knows he's there or not. What if they're like so focused on meeting the other person? They literally just didn't notice that kind of the person is right fucking next to them and they're just standing behind the wall. <laughs> that would be really funny. That would be fucking hilarious. I don't know if it's the case. Maybe Chizuru's hiding herself, but maybe Chizuru's just kind of hyping herself up. That could be what's happening. And I like that Chizuru is the one who took action to like actually enact the date. The other thing I really wanted to point out is that the whole conversation with Minnie in last chapter, it's important to notice that, like, even Minnie, when she's talking to Kazuya here, she points out how, like, she doesn't have all the information. She doesn't fully understand. And another thing I kind of want to touch on is that Minnie is kind of her own character, and while what she said with Chizuru was correct, it's also in its own right a misdirect. Because there's a, the, again, this entire story is kind of like written like a mystery. Uh, Reiji loves to use mystery novel techniques in his in his writing to kind of misdirect our attention. But this is why moments like the end of the cheer update, or this is why moments like the kiss can be so fucking hype. So, just to preface, there is in fact a review. However, I'm keeping it separate from the reaction. The mostly because the review is extremely long, like really fucking long. And I cover a lot. Like, holy shit, I cover way too goddamn much. And I, tr I tried really hard on this review. So if I'm gonna put this out, I want it to be like its own thing. I want it to be with the reaction. I want people to walk in and be like, oh my God, the reaction is stupid. I'm not gonna watch it. It's not just the reaction. I want the review to be its own thing. So I'm keeping it separate. So I'm just gonna put on my reaction right now. This is just the quick reaction. I kind of lay out some of my thoughts here in the reaction. So. I do hope you take away some of that stuff in there, but this isn't my full thoughts on the series. I have an entirely different video completely recorded. I'm gonna work on it today. I'm gonna try to get it done. Uh, do excuse me though, because it might not be nearly as edited as usual because I am in the process of moving, which makes things a lot, lot harder to do things as I probably mentioned in the very beginning of the video. But, but I did wanna toss that out there that I am in the process of moving and that it makes things a little bit harder to do stuff. I, I have like a lot of ideas I wanted to do, but unfortunately I can't act on them right now. So hopefully once I get settled down and have things like going a little bit smoothly, I'll be able to do it. I might also not be able to get a reaction out to chapter 
chapter 237, unfortunately, because I move on that exact day. I move on that day. So like, I, I kind of might not be able to get you guys a reaction for that. Hopefully if I do set up, I will record something, at the very least a review of some kind. Maybe I'll just do a reading, like, uh, like I might just read it and try to like voice act it and shit with my buddy or something like that. But yeah, uh, I do hope you guys understand. I am in the middle of moving, but yeah, there will be a review. Do not worry. I, I have a full review. It, it like already recorded. I recorded the shit out of it. I really want to finish this video and put it out for y'all because I, I think it's going to be really, really good. And I think it might help people understand the series a lot better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon if you enjoyed this video. And if you're looking forward to this review and hit the bell icon to just keep up with the uploads because you know that, that, that stuff is going to help you notice when I do the upload thing. I have been Fate. I will see you all next time. And remember, let's mosey. You with me? So let's do this thing! Welcome to hell. <laughs>